Chill, Matt G, the Ghost Lady, and Len Moleko. Yes, sir. Welcome to another episode of Podcast and Chill, the Black Friday edition. And in my presence, we're going to get straight into it because what Unati does is very exciting. And I almost want to call it the Uber of everything, which is what Eben Sense is about, yeah? Correct. Correct. So, I know people are watching and they're like, okay, cool. What is he on about? Tell us. Us urbanites who want to have sense. <laughs> what is Urban Sense about? Well, thank you. Thank you, uh, Len. Um, I like the fact that you referring to urbanites and those urbanites having sense. That's yeah. exactly how the name was bad. So, um, we looked at the fact that the, there's a rate of urbanization is increasing yeah. and in the urban area people need convenience and you combine that with a smartphone and the people that actually use smartphones and that's how urban sense was um, was came 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 to life so what is urban sense urban sense is actually is technically in a natural and um, on demand services platform yeah um, we connect it's a marketplace where we connect customers with service providers so service providers could be uh, plumbers electricians um, uh, event company management uh, where you've got someone that actually does mobile uh, toilet hiring or uh, catering services or someone that does um, marquee hiring services that's what we do um, those are the services that we find under urban science platform and those service providers are connected with the clients that are actually looking for those services in the platform so everything actually happens on the platform. The quotation, the payments happens on the platform itself. The, the, the interesting thing about it is there are so many things that we take for granted. Uh, you mentioned plumbing, electrician, and I think earlier in the week, I had people come through to my place to do some of the services that you said. And I literally had to look through my phone and I had to Google and find a person to come and do that. But what you're saying to me is you're pretty much a one-stop shop for services that people sometimes tend to overlook. Correct. Correct. So Urban Sense, the, the aim and the vision of Urban Sense is to be um, a go-to shop for yeah. your, all your personal services or your professional services. Um, our aim is actually to make sure that the minute you think about um, having your kids' birthday party, yeah. when you n- want to know where to hire um, a jumping castle, we want you to think about Evan Sense. Uh, we want you to think about Evan Sense when you have an electricity problem at home at 12 o'clock at night. Uh, we want you to think about Evan Sense. When you've got a, a plumbing issue, a, dra- a blocked drain, we want you to think about Evan Sense. Um, the, the benefits of signing up on Evan Sense is in, the, in, the, in two ways. Like you mentioned, people Google service providers. Yeah. But the question you worried about, am I safe if I invite a stranger into my house um, now on urban sense those service providers are actually vetted we vet the service providers for ID checks we vet them for um, cr- um, criminal um, um, checks yeah. we vet them for to make sure that they can actually do what they promise you to, um, to, to do in addition to that as a customer what you benefit from signing up with urban sense is in the fact that we guarantee the service that the service provider is going to do for you we guarantee that in this form of we don't pay them until you've actually notified us that they've actually completed the job that you've requested them to do for you. So that's the benefit for them from the customer's perspective. The benefits from um, service provider's point of view yeah. is um, why would you sign up on Urban Sense as a service provider? Number one, majority of the service providers are failing because they mostly run as a one-man company. Yes, and yes. failing comes in the form of them not getting suppliers, sorry, not the suppliers, but clients to actually serve them, those clients. Um, on Urban Sense, the, what we promise is to actually have a pool of clients that will be looking for those services um, and those clients will be on demand because they will request you when they need you and the communication with those service prov- with those clients between the service provider will be instant because it happens on the platform itself. The interesting thing is, uh, I know the ghost lady uh, on Podcast and Chill the, the child the son is having a birthday party very soon so you must actually give her your, your number. Yes. You can provide a jumping castle. Correct. Because well, you know kiddies love jumping castles. Exactly. So I'm a electrician i'm a plumber i want to 
be on your database as it were how do i then get so now I'm, I'm i'm looking at it from the service provider's point of view right correct so how do i get onto your database so that people are able to access my business and is there any money that i need to pay in order to be on your database okay so as a service provider the the platform um is a very simple platform uh, number one we don't have any monthly fees no subscription fees um, and in addition to that, what, what happens is you only pay um, a fee, a commission fee, on the job that you've actually confirmed with a client. Right. So in a sense, we work with service providers on a partnership basis uh, compared to other you know, business listing websites that are out there where you pay a monthly subscription but you're not guaranteed any service coming yeah. from you or other platforms that are selling you leads but it's not confirmed that that lead will be converted into business. So we're saying to our service providers, come to our platform. The benefit of you being on our platform is that you don't pay for being on the platform. You pay once you start making money. So when you make money, we're also happy that we actually have helped you to make money. Then we charge you the 10% commission. That's only 10%. Um, so that's how that's the costing and the fees for the service providers. And how do I sign up as a service provider? It's as simple as downloading the mobile application yeah. on your app store. You go to Google Play or you go to your... Um, to your Apple Store, um, yeah. um, and then you go download the, the, the application. The application name is Urban Sense Pro. Okay. On Android and on Google, on, on sorry, on Android. Um, yeah. Sorry, on Google Apple. Google and on Apple. Yes. yes. The name is Urban Sense Pro. If you're registering as a service provider, um, and then for users, it's just Urban Sense. So we've got two different applications okay, because yeah. the interaction is different from a service provider point of view and from a from a user point of view. It's sort of like what what, what I'm gauging uh, with this is it's sort of like and I, I'm gonna have to mention their name because they sort of like came in the game and made everything well, a lot of things easy. It's sort of like Uber. There's a there's a Uber app for the general public. And there's an Uber app for the drivers. Correct. So if you want to be a service provider, there is a certain app that you need to download, which is Urban Sense Pro. Mm -hmm. And if you are the public who wants to utilize the services that are available on Urban Sense, you just go and search for Urban Sense. Correct. Now, I'm the public. I download Urban Sense. And then I say, cool, I want somebody to come and sort out my electricity or my plumbing and whatever you're gonna you're gonna take me through the services or the list of services that you have mm -hmm. how do i know that whoever it is that i leave in my house because we live in an urban area Correct. Uh, we're busy we go to work and sometimes we just have to have things being done during the day how do i know that there is a level of trust and security that i'm gonna get with the service providers that you have mm -hmm. on your database that's a good question, Len, actually. Um, so the, my answer previously was not complete. So as a service provider, when you sign up after downloading the application, you need yeah. to sign up, register using your email address. And that email address, you need to confirm it um, by going back to your email address, receiving a confirmation email to verify that it's yourself yeah. as a service provider registering. That's the first step of verifying or vetting you as a, as a service provider. Second stage of vetting you as a service provider comes in, 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 in four, four formats so we verify your id um, that you are land yeah. more like or that we actually that has actually registered yes. so you need to submit your id or your passport into the platform mm -hmm. when you registering that's number one number two we're going to do criminal checks on land because now you've provided your id you've got your details so then we do criminal checks okay. to make sure that we're not sending a representative to our clients who's possibly going to conduct criminal activities or pose risk at, to our clients. Yeah, 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 so yeah. that's why we do the criminal check. The third step of, of checking is um, from a service provider point of view, we check that if you're saying you're a plumber, number one, are you registered with the Plumbers Association or not? Um, the reason we're looking at that is we need to make sure that the person we're sending to you is someone that's knowledgeable about what they're talking about. Yes, course, someone yeah. knowledgeable about what they're doing and how, what advice they can give you to make sure that they provide a high quality service to you. Right? 
lastly the last thing we check from a service provider point of view uh, we check your banking account details so you need to submit either a copy of the bank statement or a, a copy of the bank confirmation letter the reason for that you need to remember that the payment doesn't go from a client to a service provider yeah. it sits in the platform before the job is completed so then that the com account, bank account is to make sure that when the job is completed we can pay you into the account that you choose as to make a payment into um, the um, also now the the the, the part where we also check your your services that you you provide if you actually have an expect in that yeah. um we also we check that you are part of a registered um, professional body yes. or, or not if not then we um if there's no professional body for people like uh, your, your creatives that do logos we require those people to submit a portfolio of evidence oh, something yeah, that you've yeah, done yeah. yourself that proves that i've designed a logo i've designed a website this is my worker so that's what we do. Um, so that's a, that's a security and that's a benefit what, that you get as a client. So now when someone comes to your house, number one, they would not come to your house if they, we haven't sent them. And if they come to your house, you guarantee that they're going to do what you require them to do because call it the job for them to be paid for that job that they've done um, is actually in your hands as a customer because if you don't click complete on the platform itself that the job is completed then we don't pay the service provider oh, right so so even if you leave that person in your house to do the job while you are not there when you come back from work and then you check what they've done if you're not happy you chat with them on the platform say you haven't completed this are you coming back tomorrow um, then you chat with them, and then until they've actually done what you require them to do, then you go as a client and click complete on the mobile application. Once then the um, the process is completed or the project is completed, then we're in a process now um, in a position to actually start paying the service provider. So you actually answered a question that I wanted to ask you in a sense that we've used that word so many times, <laughs> sense. Um, if I'm unsatisfied with the work that has been done what do i then do in order to sort of like not complain per se but voice out my dissatisfaction with the service that i received mm -hmm. but you've kind of touched on that because you say on the platform you can go and be able to communicate with the service provider mm -hmm. and then voice your dissatisfaction one thing that people are very wary of and i mean it's 2019, 2020 is just around the corner and we live in the fourth industrial revolution where everything Correct. is done digitally. Correct. The issue of using your card to pay, am I safe in using my bank card or my bank details to register on the platform in order to pay the service providers? Mm -hmm. um, that's a good question also, Len, because that's uh, that poses, uh, as we know, there has been a security or data threat with yes. one of the big companies in South Africa. Uh, when it comes to that, what we've done is um, we don't keep the customer's uh, credit card or, or bank card details onto our application. Um, the payment happens via a payment gateway. Okay, yeah. So then you, when you go into the payment option, then it takes you to a payment gateway. You make the payment with the recognized, I'll call them that, yeah. uh, payment gateway in South Africa. Then it allows you to actually capture your information at that moment. But also with them, you've got a choice to ask them to store the information or not to store the information. So if you don't store the information, it gets captured at that moment and then it's gone. It's not kept anywhere. So that's how you get um, um, secured for when it comes to the payment and your credit card information for online transacting. All right, cool. Two questions quickly before we get out of here. First one, if a service provider comes to me, obviously the job has to be completed first before I pay or do I pay before the job is completed? The reason why I ask that is, if a service provider comes to me and says, <laughs> how do you then bridge that? Um, so, um, so number one, we don't send the service provider to a client without the client paying first. Okay. That's number one. And number two, we, we, there's a, an opportunity for service providers and clients to actually um, work off the platform. But now the benefit or the, the, where the customer loses the benefit is making sure that we, we give that guarantee for the work that has been done. Yeah. So if you engage the service provider outside the platform, then I can't, I can't protect you um, from a, a poor quality service or if the service provider has actually run away so with your money. the guarantee sort of like becomes void. Exactly. Yeah. So because oh, you, null and void. Null and void, exactly. Yes. Because now you didn't 
conduct the your business or the business in the in the platform. Yeah. You just came to our platform to actually collect the conduct details of the of the service provider. So there's no exchange of cash. There's no exchange of cash Everything at any is point. Done Everything is done digital. We're digitalizing the call them local service providers. That's what we are doing. The fourth industrial revolution is here and Evan Sense is making it happen. How does everybody who wants to be a service provider? Just take us through the details again. How do they get into your database? As a service provider, um, you download your uh, the mobile application from your app store. Yeah. Um, it's on Google, um, Android, or app, Apple Store. Um, you search for App and Sense Pro. Yeah. Um, as a user, go to the same app stores. You search for App and Sense. Or else you can go into our website. The website is www.appandsenseglobal.com. Dot com. I will repeat it right. www.appandsenseglobal.com Alright, cool. Before we get out of here, the services that whatever I'm looking for, electrician, plumber, graphic designer, whatever, jumping castle, what else is there that we probably did not mention? Okay. So I'll give you the... Um, our services are listed by service categories. Yeah. So we've got home services, we've got um, your beautician and... Uh, and, and um, beautician services we've got your spa and therapy services uh, we've got your home services and handyman services we've got your events and management uh, services we've got your automobile services which majority of them are mo- all mobile um, o- uh, mobile services yeah. for example or mobile uh, tire repl- placement or, or windscreen replacement so we cr- with this application also we are trying to help people create uh, industries that are not traditionally the way now tra- traditionally you go to a tire replacement place to replace the tire but now we're saying people can create industries to start a small business with tire replacement where you visit people to replace tires or windscreen at their workplace instead of working or having them to wait for a weekend yeah. for them to go to a place for them to actually provide a service so that's what we are doing um, and then also we have there, you find your other business services. Um, you've got your children's services, you've got education services, such things as tutoring services, um, teaching people how to learn a computer or coding or whatever. You can list them there. And then you've got media services and advertising services where now people that are creative. Can we get in there? You can. Ah, standard. Definitely. Ah, standard. I, I would like to have you there. Ah, podcast and chill is all up in the ebb and sense, man. So don't forget if you are a service provider and you want to get yourself into the database of urban sense all you gotta do is go to your app store uh either be it android play store or the apple app store and look for urban sense pro and if you're a customer and you're looking for all the services that were listed just go onto your app store be it google android or it's your apple app store and just look for urban sense and yeah you heard the services they are there so you're pretty much gonna take everybody who's been on black friday and just add them onto Evan Sense. That's exactly why we're here. Including us. <laughs> wow. Unati, thank you very much, man. Uh, thank you for bringing sense into this urbanized world. Anyway, uh, Black Friday, uh, podcast and chill. My name is Len Moleko. Unati, Evan Sense, make sure you go to your different app stores and you download it. And uh, yeah, you will be one stop shop for whatever services you need. Anyway, till we meet again, my. my- Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.